What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to MMA Reloaded, of course we talk real, we never lie, cheat and steal And folks, tomorrow night you can join us live on YouTube again for another edition of MMA Reloaded Real Talk Where we sit down with Ultimate Fighter Veteran and now tearing it up in Asia At one championship, former legacy world champion, former Ultimate Fighter Veteran uh, won his fight on Dana White's Contender Series. We sit and chat with Tan Lee. And folks, of course, uh, tomorrow night we have another UFC fight night ready and waiting to throw down for you. Watching at home, of course, stay safe, stay home. Uh, there is no cure for this fucking virus yet. Uh, and once there is, that's the only reason you'll have for going back out again is to know that you're safe to do so um of course folks tomorrow night walt harris the big ticket he's back and after uh, the untimely death of and the the absolute tragedy um the the brutality and the um ah oh man it, the shock that i'm sure resonated with everyone once um, the story about Anaya Blanchard came out. I don't want to get on too much about it. It's going to depress a lot of people. Um, but of course, R.I.P. Anaya Blanchard. Uh, her stepfather, Walt Harris. The big ticket is back. Uh, and folks, it, you kind of think, what kind of mental state is he in? Uh, he, he recently went on and said, uh, and said he's got Anaya's blessing to come back. Well... Bro, if that's true, then I think Alistair Overeem has picked a bad fight to come back into the octagon himself. Of course, being knocked out by Jardinho, being knocked out by Francis Ngannou. <laughs> um, you know, and he, he did have that little stint of a comeback. Two, three fights on, uh, on the trot, I think he won. Alistair Overeem can produce that brilliance again. But Walt Harris is your next generation future heavyweight champ in my opinion his athleticism it, it i mean folks it just shows age is just a number age is just a number three four five it doesn't fucking matter yeah these guys are fucking animals uh they're finely tuned athletic machines and if you look at alistair over and Walt harris you are tuned in for an athletic display of mixed martial arts um so, folks, as we forward, uh, last night and the past couple nights, I think, um, John Jones has gone on record as calling out Francis Ngannou. Now, folks, you may have seen our post uh, about this yesterday, but <laughs> to me, it just sounds fucking far-fetched. It sounds barbaric. John Jones thinks that moving up to heavyweight and... Uh, Calling out someone like Francis Ngannou is uh, is the right move because he feels he can outskill Ngannou, he can outclass Ngannou, he can outmaneuver Ngannou. But the thing is, bro, are you are you fucking dizzy? Yeah, Francis Ngannou is a man on a mission. He's a machine. Francis Ngannou is not checking for John Jones. He's checking for the heavyweight championship. He's checking for Daniel Cormier and Stipe Miocic. But if that John Jones fight were to get made, I mean, bro, I would never count out Francis Ngannou. Folks, after seeing Ngannou from the beginning of his career uh, till now, he can produce brilliance. What do you expect him to do against Jarzinho? A lot of people throwing hate. Uh, about the way he, he, he finished Jarzinho. Hello. Bro, he put a blemish on a Surinamese beast record. Yeah, and the way he did it, he wasn't going to fight technical. None of them were, man. They were going to go out guns blazing. And it turns out Francis did it better than Jarzinho did. I mean, when it comes to John Jones versus Francis Ngannou, I can see how that one's going to play out. Jones has the reach advantage. Jones has the speed. Uh, but, and Jones, ha Jones has the movement and skill. 
I think he has a lot more variety than Ngannou in his attacks. But Francis Ngannou is a freak athlete. He's fast. He's built like a brick shit house. He's going around 250, 260 pounds. John Jones, if he moves to heavyweight, I'll say around what, 230, 240? He ain't going to be like oh, Ovin St. Peru at heavyweight. OSP's naturally a beast. And when you look at Jones moving up, I think Jones will be lean, but nowhere near a physical specimen that uh, Francis Ngannou is. And I think if Ngannou puts a slight bit of pressure on John Jones, it's all over. Uh, but at the same time, John Jones could dominate Francis Ngannou on the other side without movement, point fighting, counter fighting, counter striking. He could wrestle him. Um, John Jones is not the greatest of all time for nothing, folks. He he can, he can do business when it comes down to it. He's not untouchable for nothing. He's not unstoppable for nothing. He is, without a doubt, the best modern era mixed martial artist. If you're going to create a modern era mixed martial artist, John Jones will be it. A combination, I would say, of Jones, Adesanya, Whitaker, Jared Cannon here, Francis Ngannou, guys like that. But... I think that's what John Jones would do if he were to fight Francis Ngannou. He would try to outstrike him, try to point fight him, try to use his intelligence. And Ngannou would try to use that African power, smother Jones, pressure Jones. You've got to get inside on John Jones. That's what a lot of people don't do enough that Daniel Cormier did right. Folks, I mean, you can call out these guys. Conor McGregor can make all these call outs to Nate Diaz. As we've seen as of late, talking shit to Justin Gagey and Tony Ferguson. But it's a whole different ball game when you actually step in a fucking cage and you actually go in there and go one-on-one. -on -one. Bro, you, you cannot just fucking talk like this or fucking uh, thumbs on your phone and your keypad. It's easy to tag fucking names. It's easy to swear at people. It's easy to fucking say, bro, you're a fucking dickhead. You won't face me. You're a pussy. Yeah. And this and this, who the fuck is that guy? All that shit, man. Bullshit. It's bullshit. Knuckle up, get your gloves on, yeah? And bring your ass to the cage. That's all I'm going to say. That's how real... That's how strong I feel about that. Yeah? It's put up or shut up. It's step up or it's back off. That's the way it is.